An update now on the comeback trail for one of the people burned out of his home last year in the Bastrop wildfires. Robert Kraft saw his 20-year-old dream home go up in flames and smoke last September. But in depth tonight, KXAN's Jim Swift tells us Kraft is charting a unique path to restoration of that dream. All right, I'm back on my place. Jazz musician and aspiring goat dairy farmer Robert Kraft defied evacuation orders and snuck back onto his land near Page in Bastrop County. There, he found the property on fire, and instinctively, he grabbed a garden hose, the only weapon he could find, and tried to fight back. But the fire finally chased Kraft away, destroying his barn and home in the process. You fought and you got beat. It was a fair fight, and now what do you do? What Kraft did was to buy a nearly 100-year-old house 140 miles north of Page in Mahia. The previous owners had planned to demolish the home, but Kraft had other ideas. After sifting through a few pieces of antique glass he found in the attic, the man got creative. He sought out bankers who would be willing to loan him enough money to move the old home to Page, where Kraft could then renovate and restore it. My uh, mortgage broker says that once we get the house and the, la and the land together, the money lenders at the bank will be able to conceive of the project. Right now, they have no idea what we're talking about. They can't conceive of moving a house from Mahia to Page. One guy told me he was afraid it w he couldn't loan me the money because he was afraid it was going to fall off the truck. I don't know what that means. But. <laughs> Did you get frustrated? Yeah, I got very frustrated. I was ready to just give up. I was ready to sell the house off for parts. That's when a group of Kraft's friends banded together to give him a low-interest private loan to get the move accomplished. And as the first half of the house rolled down the highway, Kraft waited anxiously at his then wildflower-strewn recovering land. Are you licking your chops about having this house down here? Well, I'm kind of so beat up about it from the, the, the nine-month ordeal with the banks and, and with trying to make this thing happen that uh, I just want to get it here. Once it's here, I'll probably start getting excited about it again. But right now, it's just been an ordeal. But a blown tire notwithstanding, the moving crew made steady progress, and the house finally came to rest on Kraft's land. What have I done? <laughs> I'd always kind of eventually planned on putting an old farmhouse out here. And the fire just kind of sped the whole process up. So in a way, you're grateful. No. No, I'm not grateful. <laughs> no, that, that, I'd rather have gone about it another way. But I'll, you know, I'll take the situation as it stands. So now Kraft busies himself with the restoration effort and the search for the construction loan to complete it. I feel much better, of course. I mean, it's back, the, both pieces of the house are here. They're united. There's a roof on it. And through it all, Kraft takes stock of what he has learned. Keep moving, don't stop, keep fighting. Keep pushing forward, no matter what happens, no matter what they throw at you. Push through it and keep your eye on the prize. In Bastrop County, Jim Swift, KXAN News. Handcraft tells Jim he expects to move into his new old home in about six months. And I bet Jim will be there to show it to us. I bet he will.